Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerd video series on binary search related interview question series. And this video is the second video. So question number second, like find the largest and the smallest element in a binary search tree. Okay. So let's recap what is binary search tree. Binary search tree is a tree where if you have a node, let's say five, then all these left hand side of these nodes should be lesser than this five and all these right hand side nodes should be greater than this five. And this particular property is applicable for all the nodes in the tree. So same goes for this. So if this is some number left hand side should be less than this number and right hand side should be greater than this number. So if you collectively see this tree, then it will be like you have stored data in a sorted format. So now the question is how to find the largest and the smallest element from the binary search tree. So let me draw this. So if this is your root and now if I ask you what is the maximum in this binary search tree, which is going to be this guy and what is the minimum that is going to be this one. So you can see that the leftmost element is the smallest one and the rightmost element is the largest element in the binary search tree. Now it clicked right, like how would you go about it? Yeah, you got it correct. You have to run in a single loop or single recursion, left, 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 if you are looking for the smallest element and you have to go for the right, 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 if you are looking for the largest one. I'll quickly show you the code and we'll sum up. So this is your function find min here you will have this root so which is going to be 15 for us and see we'll check if root is equal to equal to null then we'll return minus one minus one because let's suppose you insert I mean you call this find min with a null meaning there is no tree only then in that case you will return minus one saying that I did not found that number so this is like you did not found it and if root is not null then we'll check if roots left exist meaning this 15s left do exist then we'll go to that 15 left oh sorry this is right we have to go to 15s left so 15 left is 10 this time it will be like 10 here okay so same goes with 10 10 is not null we'll come here we'll again check if 10s left exist yes it does and then we'll pass this left this time we'll have nine here and then nine is not null. We'll go here. We'll check roots left, which is nine left do exist. No, it doesn't meaning we'll not call this. We'll just simply say, Hey, return roots data and root data is nine for now. So we'll just return this nine from here. So you know that nine is the answer. Okay. So it's like you just have to check. Did I hit the leaf node? when I was traversing left, 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 left. And this is a recursion. You can use a simple while loop also. So if root exist, I mean roots left exist as we were checking here, we'll go root is equal to roots left. Okay. And we'll just keep doing this until unless we find that roots left is null. And once we find that after this closing curly braces, will write return roots data like this. Okay. Because we have found a root whose left is null. So I'm sure that I'm standing in the leaf node. I mean at the leaf node. Okay. That's it. And the similar code goes for the right one. So that is going to be your homework. Like how would you find the rightmost? What would you change here and here? Just think about it and do comment if you have any doubt. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. And don't forget to hit the like button guys. If you like the video, it helps me a lot. Bye bye. Take care. See you in the next videos.